my name is uh, Lucas. I have a slide, but uh, I don't know where it is. Maybe just save the time for the demo part directly. So what we do is so-called Mugera. It's an online cloud-based HTML5 animation platform. Basically, we create HTML5 animation in the cloud. You don't need to download or install anything, and you just open your browser and start working on uh, organic HTML5 animation, as you can imagine. Many, many platforms support HTML5, including 2.3 billion smart devices, like including smartphone and the tablets. Today, I mean, in 2015, today I also learned that actually we also have 1.5 billion you know, a smart TV connected to the internet. So it's kind of a huge uh, market and device will be supporting HTML5. But one single painful point for HTML5 development is the lack of tool, like Adobe Flash, which can help you easily create HTML5 animations. So which in turn can turn into many, many applications like uh, uh, games, obviously, and advertising, tutorial, and uh, ebook, something like that. So I will directly jump into the, direct, uh, the, the, the demo part because, uh, let's see, I can just uh, click on this. Uh <coughs> so this is our kind of the online environment doing this HTML5 animation. As you can see, it's kind of very friendly, I mean, uh, interface for you to do kind of like a, a flash-like animation. We, we include like layers and uh, all kinds of the uh, professional stuff for you to work on this animation stuff, like uh, see all this detail, something like this, and all see kind of see through onion skin-like uh, uh, options. Something like that. So I don't have too much time. So instead of the creating things from scratch, I will be just uh, uh, just doing things like uh, uh, showing some existing demo and then uh, just uh, show some ideas from there. Let me see. So this just give you some idea about what kind of the uh, what kind of animation we can generate it. This is kind of using, uh, uh, purely using our environment, create kind of like a, a greeting card. Anyway, it's kind of uh, uh, Chinese, but it's just saying uh, happy birthday to you and uh, I have lots of gifts for you, including me, myself. It gives you, gives you some basic idea what kind of animation we can create using this idea, using this uh, demo. Uh, some other things include, uh, uh, this is a typical content. It's actually display advertising. We can create uh, the same effect as you do for a typical uh, uh, Adobe Flash. It's basically actually something very interesting for this demo is uh, pay attention to the to the part of actually the, the scan the body of the uh, of the car. That is using an advanced feature called masking. It uses kind of a mask layer to mask any image content, so you can get this cool scan in the body of the of the uh, of the of the body of the car. This is another interesting demo. Uh, it's kind of a hierarchical or symbol-based animation. You just basically create this car as a symbol, and then you can just uh, use this uh, trajectory or path-based animation so that you can have this car moved along this uh, trajectory so that it can give this kind of a foot, uh, uh, physical realistic effect. This is another uh, demo we, uh, we named. Yeah, this is the, uh, anyway. So this is a demo just to show you some idea about how you can use this camera motion to do different things. This this animation is done by using uh, kind of the first is script-based animation. You do this JavaScript like go to and play and uh, just enter frame callback to control the playback of your animation so that you can just, uh, uh, for example, the push up is actually, you can just uh, repeat many times as you want so that you can just have a precise control about animation. Other things is like, uh, yeah, this is the one uh, we call it as motion comics. As motion comics is a very interesting uh, one, especially good for this uh, mobile reading, like uh, your your tablet or your or your iPhone or smartphone. So, so let's take a look at the the source of this animation. Let's give you a better idea what kind of the things it can do. Um, let me first uh, have this full view about this animation. Yeah, this is a so. Two things you uh, I, I would like to to pay attention to. One is about pay attention to this camera. So we have this camera view. So you can add the camera and edit this camera as you edit any objects on your screen. So that you pay attention to how this scene is zoomed out and the panning to different part of the so focus on different scene. And also pay attention to this uh, purple color, which is the uh, which is the trajectory of the which is the trajectory of this of this teeth so that you can just uh, maybe feel free to ed edit these curves as you're editing any other object or any curve. And eventually, when you render this uh, final rendering, it'll give you a, a camera motion like, together with this path-based animation. 
it's a very interesting uh, uh, helpful tool for you to create kind of like a, uh, uh, for storytelling or kind of like, like that. What else? Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much a very quick uh, but overview about what, what, what kind of thing we can go. So for using this HTML5 tool to create, you know, uh, for animations, which can in turn turn into many, many interesting applications, including games. So we're also looking for partners uh, in this uh, HTML5 gaming development. If you are interested in this domain in creating HTML5 based game, I would like to talk to you after the event. So I have left the remaining two minutes for any questions you have. It's a very good question. So, uh, so as you can, uh, so the question is, uh, as a Flash developer, how hard it is to migrate into this uh, developing environment for creating HTML5 animation? So short answer is it's very easy because uh, we don't want to invent a new way of this kind of user experience. You just feel yourself very familiarized with the environment, including such as short car and the way you do it, such as the audience game. And uh, we also have our additional one, even e easier than uh, the way you do in Adobe uh, in Adobe Flash. Like uh, uh, we, we have, uh, I just show some like his parse editing thing and the camera motion thing is actually, uh, our developer find it's even easier, uh, faster than developing in the Flash, uh, Flash environment. So very good question. So we have a full bunch of the export. Uh, so the question is, uh, can we export this animation and upload into YouTube, something like that? Uh, we have a bunch of uh, export options, as you can see. Here. You can export it a single uh, uh, image, such as a specific frame. You can export that into image sequences, which is helpful and very useful if you want to develop the you know, native application like in iOS and uh, Android device. We can also export like a JavaScript-based uh, animation. It's a standalone package. You can play anywhere. Uh, and also, we even have the CSS exporting option, so you can convert this whole thing into a, a DOM domain as a, a typical web page. So as you can see here, we have option even to export any uh, created animation into so-called uh, the video. And we, we uh, in our another version, we even have a demo to just uh, with one click, you can just directly export your created uh, animation into YouTube directly. Yes, answer is yes. Thank you.